so today is Sunday, I think the 12th, is it? The 12th of uh, August 2008 and here I'm by the pool, even though it's overcast again, not fully sunny day and yet I'm in my country, Indonesia, a tropical country, uh, but uh, it's not sunny almost, it's not sunny every day. Um, so this is my second time filming so that I could uh, post on my YouTube channel and what a way you know it's a it, it's like a hack because I thought all this time I would need a, a camera or, or on my phone or a normal camera little did I know that I could actually film it on my laptop my iPhoto uh, laptop so um what shall we talk about today i am perspiring as usual excuse me please i am still not accustomed to the climate here that's the price as an asian who has lived for so many years in the four season seasons country um are you doing everything is uh, okay please share whatever you like to share on the comments below it's nice to know where you are uh, if you would like to ask me some questions if i could answer then i would answer but uh, as it is no uh, editing here my video comes as it is and here I am again in front of my pool house which I plan if God allows I would make this pool house a spa like starting with four friends not commercialized because um, I still have to get some things repaired and um, do some some uh, what do you call a preparation so let's see let's see if i could do that that would be nice then this place would be a massage place facial um, yeah nice spa and uh, yeah it's a condition but it's very makeshift like so it's very homey like not a real spa place so uh, that's it oh my god i'm so hot i have to stay quiet you know i have to stay still in order not to perspire so anyway if you don't mind my sitting like this this is on the bale bale we call it bale bale which is like a like a bed made of bamboo but just to lounge around not exactly to sleep on so um yeah um what else should i uh, talk about um, What do you think I should uh, do this uh, August, the rest of the August? Now we are on the 12th and I'm home. I don't go on holiday, even though actually Bali is only one hour, 20 minutes from here by plane. But one thing I feel so fortunate about is my villa or my house is really made uh, Balini style so I don't need to go to Bali to enjoy Bali I would go to Bali for its ambience I love to go to its restaurant especially in Ubud in an area called Ubud uh, I've been there in 2012 I think when Tanya was still here and she would fly every weekend to Bali when she was living here for three years uh, for her um, advertising uh, uh, job 
for an American advertising uh, company. So every Friday she would fly to Bali, and then Monday she would fly back to Jakarta and go straight to the office. So she only stayed in this uh, house in the night just to sleep. But she uh, rented a bungalow there. So anyway, uh, we went together uh, 2012, just before she moved back to New York. And uh, yes, she took me around to all these uh, uh, very nice, uh, eco-friendly restaurants. It's really lovely, really, really lovely. And uh, they have all these uh, raw food restaurants everywhere. And now even more, I heard. So for that, yes, I would go to Bali, but not for, for the for the for the house or for the uh, beautiful beautiful hotel they have because I'm already so so happy with where I live here in Jakarta, which is considered unique because this type of house is not common in Jakarta. There is a mini version of this, some swimming pool without swimming pool, and that's because the sister of the previous owner of this house lives there which is only two houses next to mine but otherwise this is a little bit on the outskirts of Jakarta but not far because you know I could go to one of the best mall here in 15 or 20 minutes top when the roads are not you know filled with traffic of course because you know Jakarta is full is, is jam jam everywhere but now it's a bit reasonable when you go outside or you go out in the car because currently they're having this um, this uh, uh, Asian games they're, they're, they're hosting these Asian games that I think would last a month so they have introduced not only in the center city but also around the city the the uh, what do you call that uh, Got now in English, the the uneven and even numbers of car plates, you know, registration numbers. So it lessens the traffic a bit, and it helps smoothen the flow of the traffic. Even though it's still full, but at least it's manageable and it's tolerable. So anyway, so uh, this place. It's not off the main road, it's in the rural area, so you still have to go in two little roads in order to reach here. It's quite quite isolated in that sense, but I'm in the middle of the neighbors that mostly are the village people. So it's it's quite nice. It's is I love the sound of the people here because even though they, 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 they live in a very, uh, uh, you know, how to say, uh, you know, not the normal standard of how the people live in the West, but they're happy people. How do I know? Because I could overhear them talking in the back of my house. It's a village full of all these houses. And, you know, I really, really find it so so uplifting to hear them talking among themselves especially from the parents to the little baby or to the children so full of affection so full of tenderness and laughter it's amazing whereas where where I was living in Milan in Italy I was living in this building in, in, in the middle of Milan not to put a bad light, okay? Please don't don't think that I'm trying to 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 to, to put Italy in a bad light. But you know, I have to share the truth, the truth what I have experienced. So above me, there's a new family who's actually parents living in the front of my courtyard. So this family be, uh, come from the family who built this building but the, the man who built the building is their grandfather already passed away uh, it's an architect I think something like that or an engineer I don't remember so anyway this is the grandson who lives above me so it's a bigger apartment and uh, 
he and his wife they have like three kids so the eldest one is like four year old old girl so when I came back to Milan the girl was already four years old because I remember when I went to Jakarta in 2012 for I think almost two years staying here the girl was just born so by the time I went back 2014 2013 I went for 10 days to meet my husband who came from uh, United Arab of Emirates and that time we met in Milan in 2013 in July August for 10 days and I had to come back to Jakarta and uh, he went on to the United Arab of Emirates one month later from Milan the girl I think was like one year old so by the time I went back 2014 um, the girl already like three years old so 2015 or 2016 I went back four years old or five years old oh my god you know the father who is the son or the grandson of the the, 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 the architect of our of my building oh my god I'm, I'm sweating I'm sorry but I'm sorry um the father you know couldn't take when the little girl uh, you know had too much to play or maybe was making too much noise so all of a sudden the father shouted at that girl you know that little girl and i would be shocked as well when i heard it the girl the the, 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 the father would, would call pasta Basta in Italian means enough, enough, enough. Whoa, how a shock. And I thought it was, he was talking to who? Oh, he was talking to the little girl. And of course the little girl cried. You know, and always the father, I never heard the father tenderly talk to the girl or played with the girl. The father was always, always, you know, nag or blessed at this little girl. So, so sad you know to overhear that and in fact i could i i, I could witness the character of, of the of the father because when i just arrived from jakarta you know in my apartment back in my apartment i think two days later or three days late, later because i haven't used that apartment for, for, for like one year because i was here for one year in 2015 i went back there and after two three days in milan suddenly maybe because of the bathtub i was uh, you know using I, I didn't realize you know i forgot already the what i should do in the bathroom and apparently it leaked towards his uh, his 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 uh, his floor so sorry it's not upstairs he's downstairs and would you believe around 10 o'clock in the night or 11 o'clock in the night you know, there I was in my apartment by myself in autumn, I think. And oh my God, he burst. I mean, I didn't know it was him, of course. The doorbell, and you know, in, in Milan, the doorbell is so harsh. You know, it's not nice and gentle and, and you know, and jingly. You know, it's, it's, it's harsh. So, oh my God, you know, my heart, heart almost dropped. And I didn't want to answer. I didn't want to answer. I was so scared. And he rang so strong. And then he told me, open the door. This, this, this son, the same father that always, you know, shouts at his daughter. Oh, I said, who are you? You know? And she said, look, he said, if you want to speak English, I can speak English. I said, okay, you want to speak Italian. Okay, you want to speak English. I am from downstairs. Please, there's a leakage from your bathroom. And I got a little bit scared. But, you know, there's a people so I open and recognize him. So I open and 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 he was nice actually. He said, Look, I'm sorry, but there's a leakage, you know. I would like to know where it's from. I said, I don't know, because you know, I just came back from Indonesia. Please go and have a look, you know, please go into my bathroom. So he, he, he had a he had a look and then he said, Okay, for tomorrow, if you don't mind, I'll send somebody to, to have it repaired for you because you know, I said, yeah, okay, so you know, at least he sent somebody the next day and then you know he took care of of it and it was with that but my god the harshness you know that is one thing i have to face whenever i 
came to Jakarta or I live in other countries and go back to Italy. The rhythm, the mentality, the speed and the slowness of things takes me like two, three weeks to readjust back to the country where I live in every time I go back to Italy. Because in Italy, it's very harsh, harsh. The language people say is melodious, yes, yes. It's melodious, it's melodious. But once you live there, then you, you catch the, 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 the abruptness, the harshness of it because of the contents, if you understand the language. So anyway, uh, that is a one myth or popular, uh, you know, uh, myth that people outside of Italy don't know. Once you know the language, you live in Italy. Yes, it's a beautiful language. Yes, 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 yes. But oh my God, you know, a lot of harsh words in it, uh, which I I refuse from day one. I refuse to join in. You know, I don't use their their words. I don't use their their you know their custom of swearing. I you know I didn't adapt to that. I put the arms length all the time from day one till the end, and it served me so well, I must say. So that was it. So I realized, oh wow, you know, back to, to Italy, everybody just talked to you so harshly, harshly, harshly. And, you know, I have a neighbor in my apartment upstairs, like I've been there for decades. I'm not going to tell you exactly how many years. <laughs> and that person can, could never say good morning or good day to me before I say first. If I say first, even if I said first, they would go, Go all the surf. They don't know. This, oh, 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 okay. The arrogance, you know, the superiority the complex, it's never ending. But, you know, I don't play to that game. I keep on smiling, I keep on being happy. The only thing is, whenever I return to Italy from Indonesia, you know, I become more deferent, more soft spoken, you know, more respectful. And these people, they're not accustomed to it. So, for example, like on the phone, when I talk with them, they would say, Meta, can you please, you know, raise your voice because we couldn't hear, I could I can't hear you. You speak too, too low. That's when I go back to Italy. <laughs> but when I come to Indonesia, my Indonesian people or friends or family, they would say, can you speak softer because you're so strong. <laughs> it's amusing, actually. It's amusing to, 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 to witness or to know the difference between the two countries so uh, always italy because you know i live in other countries as well i don't have that kind of uh, stark differences that i have to adjust so uh, this is the the, the 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 enlightening part of knowing italy you know you make your choice you Either take the good sides and enrich yourself or you want to be accepted by them quickly and that is to be like them. But I opted to be like me and that actually uh, rubbed uh, the Italian people the wrong way because they didn't understand that I was just trying to protect myself since I know that the things that it is part of their question is not in my personality. And I deny those by protecting myself, by protecting my, myself, and that is not to do what they do. But the good things they do, I tap onto that because maybe that is more me. So uh, that is actually the key of my. Um, you know, uh, uh, life in Italy. That's what I did. So, uh, you know, and actually, some would, you know, sarcastically refer to me behind my back, of course. Also, in front of me, there were a couple who said that up front that I behave like a princess, but I'm not a princess. I don't behave like a princess. I just I'm, I just don't come from 
you know, a background where I have to swear all the time, I have to be angry all the time, I have to complain all the time, I have to look at the, 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 the bad sides of things all the time. No, I don't come from that. So I cannot tap onto that because it's against my personality. It's against my also my my inner being, and uh, some couldn't take that about me because I they call that I didn't know how to adapt myself. No, I know how to adapt myself very well. In London, I did everywhere I did, but not in Italy because I could see the paradox of a beautiful country the best in, 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 in their culture, history, food, everything, yet there is a dark side of it also, and that is the negativity that is so prevalent. That is so prevalent. Now maybe less, I don't know, maybe because of the internet age, maybe because of the European communion, but before that, and the older generation, whew, they were so nationalistic, very racist, I must say, and I went through a lot of those experiences that I found interesting but challenging every time. But you know what? I felt rewarded by having stuck that out, you know? You know, I, I, I stuck it out. And for that, I have to say, you know, I'm proud of myself because I stuck it out. I, yes, there were a few times that I would flash back, but that's because I knew it was the limit and I was right. So I had the courage to respond or to fight back. And out of that, you know, I discovered that Italians respect you for that. As long as you're right. If you're wrong, no, they would just jump all over you. But if you're right, they start respecting you. They start respecting you. And once Italians re respect you, they're very nice people, yes. Or if you don't know them well, if you don't know them well, just superficially, as visitors, yes, they're very nice, warm, funny, like people. But once you live there, especially when you're married with one of them, I don't know, I'm speaking of Milan, I don't know other parts of Italy, it's tough. It's tough, especially at the beginning for me. It was so tough, you know. Uh, a lot of uh, denigrating remarks, racial slurs I went through. And my husband could only defend up to so much, you know. He couldn't defend me all the time. And besides, you know, I wanted to defend myself because, you know, I I would know better than him because of all this Italian, he couldn't defend me from his perception because he's been living in Italy all his life. So it was so enlightening, such a learning experience, so rewarding, so enriching, and I'm so grateful for all those experiences that I went through living in Italy. Good or bad, up and down, it was magnificent. It was beautiful. So I'm so glad, you know, I didn't plan to talk about this on this video, but I got carried away and why not? You know, this is my second video to share with you all my experiences, all of my opinions, what I think, all just based on my experiences, okay? Not, uh, not, um, a makeup story or invented story or imaginary story. It's all based only on my personal experiences. Okay, if you want to know more, I can tell you more after all, you know, I am Italian now. And that's the luxury of me now uh, to have, uh, you know, started out living in Italy and that is I can switch to the Italian, but the nice positive Italian where I'm accepted and embraced, you know, uh, you know, openly because I have two best Italian friends. They are amazing. They're amazing. They're amazing friends. I love them. Two of them. And then uh, my sister-in-law. Well, that's another story I can share. And then 
my late husband's friends. But you have to understand that also because, you know, my late husband, you know, flew all the way to Indonesia and, you know, invited me and accompanied me back to his country. So it's not like I flew alone to Italy or I was in Italy when he met me. He met me here. He came here and then accompanied me back to Italy. So it was done with so much respect. And I think that also <laughs> has... Uh, uh, you know, ruffled a lot of the, the the girl's feathers because I thought he was a single engineer, so eligible. You know, many mothers would like to have him as their son in law, and there came me. So, you know, it's understandable. So, anyway, that's it for my story today. And if you like to comment or if you like uh, to know more about Italy or about Indonesia or anything that. Uh, I could share with you. I'll be delighted to share with you. Okay, enjoy the rest of uh, your Sunday. I know America now is uh, in the, is uh, midnight and uh, Europe now is waking up. Ciao and uh, see you soon. Ciao, ciao.